Chris, that before you get to any of the fun stuff, before you start trying to improve your social media, before you go hire a designer to, to build your website, it really is crucial to start with the strategy. If you're like me, you have really seen the importance of branding and marketing for your nonprofit organization, especially the emphasis in the last few years on storytelling, telling your story, your organization's story, or the story of someone served by your organization. Well, today I've got on the Development Effectiveness Strategies channel, a great guest by the name of Alyssa House Connect. Alyssa is a brand expert. She has her company called Liss House Creative, and she is a branding and marketing expert. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy the nuggets, the tidbits that she's going to give us and stay to the end because she's got a special bonus that she's going to add to our listeners. So stay tuned. Um, Alyssa, tell me a little bit. I think you and I, um, you know, have both been big fans of, of uh, Mike Kim, his, his brand new book on branding and um, uh, telling the story is important. And I think it'd be really great. But love to hear from you, uh, your story. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. I am so excited to be here. And yes, our stories, and I know we're going to talk about this a little bit today, but stories are really our entryway to connect with our audience and connect with people. So I would love to share that. Thank you. Um, I've always loved marketing. I've always loved design. I've always designed, you know, on the side. Um, I'll also let you know, I didn't go to school for design. So that's just something that I've been self-taught and really love to do. I, you know, decided to kind of start my own side business. It started as a side hustle. It started with designing, you know, invitations for friends, baby showers or weddings, a flyer for here and there at, at you know, my friends' bands, right? Just little small yeah. side projects that I started doing. And I finally came to this point where I said, you know, I think I have enough work right now that I can't really handle both a full-time job and, you know, doing kind of all this side hustle craziness. I was working myself to death. Um, so I decided to kind of take the entrepreneur leap and have been doing that for about the past five years. Um, I've had lots of ups and downs, I've <laughs> made lots of mistakes, but I'm really excited to be in this place now that I feel I love helping others build confident brands. I know you work with a lot of people who do that. Um, and that's what really lights me up is helping people not only find their purpose, but be able to live that out and live their dream life. Well, uh, Alyssa, you know, you and I have been you know, privy to uh, so much of the importance of telling your story, whether that be the story of an individual, the story of a founder of the organization as a whole. Why do you feel feel like uh, telling the story is so important to branding and marketing today? Yeah, I love that question. So I think, you know, the reality is we have been listening to and telling stories forever, right? We even look back to oral traditions thousands and thousands of years ago. We as humans love and thrive and live in stories, right? Whether that's the stories we create for ourselves, whether that's the stories that others have created for us, whether that's stories that entertain us um, in the books that we read and the media that we consume, right? So I think that's important to know is that we always have had connections with stories as humans. That's kind of what keeps us going, right? We have right. hope and that hero's journey you may have heard. So as we talk about in business and entrepreneurship and as organizations, it's our job to connect with people. So I think we really, especially in a time where we're so inundated with so much information, we're really just looking for that deep personal connection. And that's where you can, in an authentic way, you know, we're not taking advantage of people. We're not using stories to manipulate or capitalize, but we are using our stories to connect with people. Because at the end of the day, the reason that you buy something, the reason that someone subscribes or buys or, you know, takes your services, whatever you have to offer, is because they felt a connection with you. Well, you know, the thing that I have been so impressed with you and, and appreciate so much, I, you know, it you you talk a lot about building a unique and distinctive brand. Um, and what I like about it, it, it's not a fake brand. Uh, it's a realistic brand. You're, you're, you're trying to find what are those things that makes an organization unique and distinctive. Um, in this age of social media marketing, what are some of mm -hmm. the 
uh, essentials that you need to exist in, you know, in marketing and branding today? Yeah, I think the piece of that, you know, the word that you said is we're not being fake, you know, we're being authentic, right? And authenticity, I think, is also a term that we throw around a little bit. Be authentic, be this, be, but genuine authenticity means being yourself. And I think that is where I've fallen into this trap before, right? As we're trying to figure out maybe our direction in business or who we're, who our, our dream client is or who our audience is. I think sometimes we get lost in trying to look outward instead of looking inward. I think there needs to be a healthy balance. I often describe, you know, your brand as a Venn diagram. So if you picture a Venn diagram, there's three circles, right? We have you on one side, we have your ideal customer or audience on the other. And then the place where that overlaps right in the middle is your brand. And I think that it's so crucial to remember that you are the core of your brand, your business, your organization. Well, our, um, you know, many of our nonprofit leaders who are viewing this uh, probably feel that their organization is one of the best kept secrets mm. out there. Um, what would you recommend for the organization that wants to wants to stand out in a good way and wants to, you know, kind of get themselves above all the others from a branding and a positioning standpoint? What would you recommend? What are some of the things that you would recommend? Really clear. If we're going to get our message out there, we're going to get ourselves out there to the world stop being a secret, right? We want people to know us, hear about us, know who we are. I think it really breaks down into three aspects, um, which Mike Kim talks about as well. And I've really adopted as my, you know, brand building formula. Um, so we have a visual identity that is all the fun visual stuff that we talk about, you know, your logos, your colors, your website, all of your visual assets. We have your verbal identity, which is your actual message and your copywriting, you know, what you're saying and how you're saying it to your audience. And then we have our value identity, which is actually where we begin. So that is where we begin all of my client processes is figuring out who you are, what you do, why you do it right? If we get really clear on that, and that may seem super simple, well, this is my business, this is who we serve, this is what we do. That's great that you have maybe, you know, a mission statement and a, an ideal customer, but we really, really dive deep and come from a place of strategy. I think that's the most important piece to remember is that before you get to any of the fun stuff, before you start trying to improve your social media, before you go hire a designer to, to build your website, it really is crucial to start with the strategy. And that's something that you'll hear me talk about all the time. And I think that's the place that it really begins. And that's the place that makes you stand out is you actually, you know, understand your market, you understand who you are as a company. That also may mean understanding who you're not right? We're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. That's actually a good sign. If you, you know, we're not necessarily wanting to turn people away, but we're not here to fulfill every single person's needs. So we're going to get really clear on what we do, what we don't do, who we serve, what we, you know, who we don't serve, and then create a plan and a strategy from there. Now, what do you say to the nonprofit leader who, you know, is, is kind of overwhelmed right now, uh, you know, so many different platforms to get their message out there. Um, mm -hmm. What do you say to them? And they don't know where to start. They don't know where to begin. Um, you know, do they do all of them? Do they do none of them? Do they do one? Right, right. Uh, what, what do you, what do you recommend to those organizations? Sure. I think, yeah, that's a great question. I think on a practical level, start small and then build, right? So let's start with one and then kind of, you know, use building blocks to build up from there. But this, you know, kind of goes into the last question or my last answer was we need to really do some research and see where people are hanging out. Where is your core audience spending their time? If we're talking about social media, are they spending their time on LinkedIn or are they spending their time on Instagram? Those are very different platforms with very different audiences, right? So we need to really dig into that audience and find where they are. Again, everything really comes from that place of strategy and planning. And I really do believe that that is what sets you apart and what helps you, you know, take that next step above your competition. 
Well, I think, you know, I think about, I would say within the first five minutes of a movie or within the first couple seconds of a commercial, mm -hmm. I'm going to know whether I'm going to like that movie or not. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to know whether I, I like this commercial, if I'm going to go in this direction, whether it captures my heart or not. Mm -hmm. And and that's the kind of instincts you have, the feel mm -hmm. for whether mm -hmm. something's going to sell. So when you say that, you know, if it's a certain agency or financial agency, whatever it is, well, you do know what what is going to touch the hearts of people and, and mm -hmm. captivate people. And uh, if it's going to be a boring financial statement for, you know, or whatever it is that right. I'm not going to necessarily get. Well, that there's opportunity right there to use storytelling, to use that personal, authentic brand to stand out above the rest, to be a cut above and say, we're using storytelling. We're using how, you know, our services or, or our business has impacted the lives of those that we work with. Because well, you've presented so many good tidbits, uh, tips and suggestions, things for our, our viewers. Um, if people wanted to take advantage of the services that you provide, give me a little, uh, give, give our audience a little outline of the kinds of services that you provide and, and how you could help and work to make an organization better in their branding, their positioning, marketing, those kinds of things. Awesome. Well, thank you for the opportunity to share that. I really, like I said at the beginning of this call, really find my purpose in helping other people find their purpose and then live it out, right? So that often can look like in marketing, the marketing space. So I do offer, you know, full design services all the way from your, your branding through web design and social media graphics, if we're talking about tangible deliverables. Um, but like I said, I think if you are starting out or if maybe you're in a position that, you know, I want a new website, but I'm not sure if it's the right time. Um, I offer either brand audits where we can just kind of take a deep dive in what is happening right now with your brand and figure out a plan to move forward. Maybe that means, you know what, hey, let's let's talk about building a website in the next six months. Or you know what, maybe you don't need a website for another year or two years when we have some more revenue to be able to do that. You know, we'll kind of dig into the nitty gritty of where your business is at and see what the right fit is for you. Well, I'm going to, for our, our viewers, I'm going to put all your contact information. I'll put everything uh, in the description and in the bio and, and uh, all, all the uh, appropriate places. But how's the best way for people to, to get a hold of you, Alyssa? I, I, uh, our, our good friend, uh, Mike Kim, always, uh, he'll embarrass you by saying you've got one of the best Instagrams. And, <laughs> and uh, it, that's a tremendous compliment. And I think you do have a, a great Thank Instagram. You. <laughs> you, uh, you practice what you preach. Yeah, I mean, I love hanging out on Instagram. I think that's a way that I'm able to be authentic, you know, as we're talking about living out these principles. And that's just a fun way for me to feel connected with my audience. So I would love to meet you. Send me a message and say, hey, on Instagram, I promise it is always me messaging. I don't have anybody running my account. Um, but I also, I, I think we're going to put it in the notes, but I would really love to offer your listeners um, just my free workbook. This is a great opportunity. It's 15 pages packed full of really starting to build your brand strategy. So totally free. There's no catch. You don't have to work with me. This is just a great resource that I've created that I really want to add value. And I want to help you start to build that foundation, you know, asking those questions of, of that value identity that I mentioned at the beginning of our call. Um, so I would love to offer that to you. It's a totally free download. We'll, we'll have the link in the comments. Um, and you can always, you'll, you'll get it in an email and you can always reply to me via email as well. That's a great option too. Terrific. I've seen it. I love it. That's a great thank you for offering that gift yeah. to me. closing words uh, before I let you go here. Elizabeth. No, just thank you so much, Jim, for having me. I, yeah, I'm just excited to have the opportunity to speak to you. Thank you for taking the time to listen. If you've, you've made it to the end of our video. Um, I think, yeah, just remember that you are the root of your brand, of your business and it, we're, we're going to do this. We right. got to take it day by day, one step at a time that you will build a, a confident and successful brand if you stick with it. That was uh, some amazing tips on branding and marketing and how do we make our nonprofit organization distinctive and different from all the others out there. And how about that bonus package that she gave? And if you like this video, 
be sure to, to click the, the, arrow, the thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel, Development Effectiveness Strategies, and click the notification so you can be notified when our next video comes out. And of course, look at our library of videos that are currently out there. So as I always say, we are here to help you increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.